them artistic gamers seven and welcome back to another creator of the month now <coughs> i am making a horrible habit of getting these creator of the month videos out too late and all three of them have been for all different reasons <laughs> so this time around it was more of it, it is definitely more of something that was out of my control i wasn't sick like, I'm still, still struggling a little bit with my anxiety, but it's enough that most days I'm perfectly fine. And I've actually been pretty good for the past, like, week or so. Like, I haven't had too much going on. Um, I did get, like, sick last night. Like, there's, like, a stomach bug or something going on, or I ate something wrong. I don't know. But I'm not going to go into details about that because, whoo! <laughs> but I'm, like, fine, but my anxiety flared up a little bit just then because uh, my brain is so paranoid. And it's like, oh, what is wrong with me? It's got to be something absolutely disastrous. Not just, you know, normally you ate something wrong or you have just a little tiny bug. No, it's like horrible disease, cancer, intestines rotting, bladder malfunctioning, stomach has some sort of disformity. <laughs> anyway, before... Um, I get too far into that because I can really get deep into just conversations about stupid random stuff. Um, we are talking about the Crater of the Month. But yeah, I just sort of lost track of time. It's completely my fault. Um, it's starting to be greenhouse season. So like I'm working away in the greenhouse is like, I got time. I got time. I really need to record some Legend of Zelda. So let me focus on that. I got time. And then like the very last week of March came and then like I, I was like realizing, oh no. And then I also realized I was like the way I set up my schedule, I don't know where to put this. So I, I'm not going to go into what I've decided when it comes to like extra videos, what I'm going to do with them. Um, in this video because it's not about me. It's not about my schedule here, but I've come to an idea like I was thinking about it for a while. So hence between my overthinking brain and me not realizing the days um, We're here and I am recording this on the day that it should be going out. So yeah Woo. Um, A little bit of all over the place. I'm a mess right now as well because I'm on a little bit of time crunch <laughs> And I totally didn't realize I was going to be on a time crunch. Went to bed, was like, I'll be fine. And I have to go get my medicine today. And I get my medicine in a different place than my dad gets his medicine. And my medicine place closes earlier than his does. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so yeah. But I'm not going to rush myself through this video because, again, this is not about me. This is about amazing creators of the month. Now, this series, I basically take the um, Sim Streamers and YouTubers Creator of the Month. They do one over on the Facebook page every single month. It usually comes out around the 5th. Sometimes it's a little off. But yeah, usually comes out around the 5th. So you can keep an eye out for the lovely Creator of the Month over there if you want to join that group. It's like a little group where us Simmers that do streaming and YouTubing and stuff like that help each other and all that sort of stuff and you know discuss things sometimes and put our videos over there so it's a really nice place love it it will be down in the description below if you want to go check it out um but today we are talking about froggy chronicles here which i absolutely um enjoyed her videos there's one particular series that I am really hooked to and I'm looking forward to the next episode. She did actually move recently so in some ways me being a little bit delayed sort of helped as you can see like these were like a like she had three a week ago and you know but this one was here so and I haven't got to watch some of them. I'm watching this current playthrough right now the underhill legacy I literally have just started it so I'm pretty early on to into it with the greenhouses i sadly don't have as much time to try to watch everyone's videos but yeah i was i was enjoying these i've watched the grilled cheese she's basically going and doing like stuff that are hidden through sims so like the grilled cheese aspiration is hidden and you have to do a certain way to unlock it um anything that's like hidden worlds or hidden locations different things like that she wants to sort of do like a little hidden 
thing, find all the hidden parts through Sims, which is definitely fun and interesting. I haven't watched the Zodiac one either because I was watching her create the planet into Sims. So if I go to videos, actually. Pluto. I haven't got to watch Plutos yet. Oh no. I need to watch Plutos. I thought I watched Plutos. And I thought, I wa no, wait, no, no. Pluto is my next one. But I definitely watched Neptune. So, weird. And I watched this too. Yeah, I'll get to that one in a moment. But YouTube is weird. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. Um, and I really am enjoying the planet one because. If you're someone who's maybe been around my channel for a while, I love doing creative sims based off of random stuff. I have the Pokemon sims, I'm doing an Elder Scrolls one, but I did a flower one which is more closer to what she's doing here. I took different types of flower, took in consideration the colors of the flower and where they usually grow, like where they're native to and different things like that to take an account on creating the sim. She did the same with her planet one. So the colors of the planets and, you know, some of the history and the si like stuff about the planet, why they were named the way they were and different information. She actually tells you in the video some of the information about the planets. And because I did the similar thing with my flower sims and I love doing my flower sims create a sim, that definitely intrigued me. I liked watching that. And I'm going to watch the Zodiac cast next. And right now I've watched the um, Paranormal Let's Play. I am a big paranormal person, so had to watch that. And I watched this. I will say, sadly, there are some things I disagree with Froggy Chronicles on with this. But she's not as much of an occult player. And I get it. Not everyone is. In fact, the majority of simmers don't care for the occults. So she put, like... Realm of Magic's world and the vampire Forgotten Hollow and Glimmerbrook really low on the list. I think they actually were in the delete list of getting rid of them and I'm a little sad but you know I understand a lot of people are not into the cults. <laughs> uh, I definitely am though but everyone Sims is a game that you play your own way so not everyone's gonna like every aspect of it. Oh well. I don't get up. I don't get like super upset over stuff that I'm not necessarily eager about. But I might say like, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it, or yeah, it's not really for me. But I'm not gonna go like, why are they making this meme anyway? So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I was a little sad with that. But a lot of the others I do quite agree with. Um, <laughs> so yeah. But my favorite one is this one which is why i find it weird that it acts like i haven't watched this all the way through i think her na sims name is harlow and i absolutely love this series i was not aware like i knew there was achievements in the game and honestly i bring up the screen where you can actually click on to look this achievements because it's the same screen as the save the exit the game options you know it's all there but i never paid attention to that little button that's like is it the third one up? Fourth one up? Fifth one down? It's a little bit lower. But yeah, anyway. Never paid attention to that button. The achievement buttons. Didn't know it was there. So half of the achievements that are actually can be got in the game. I didn't know they existed. <laughs> so. I found that very, very interesting. And she's actually trying to do a playthrough of trying to get literally all the achievements in one save. And because of one particular achievement, that is going to be a pretty long series, but I am so looking forward to it. I am loving this series already. I really want to try this out myself. Um, she isn't sure if someone else has come up with this. So, and I'm not really either. I haven't necessarily seen it because like I said, this is the first time me realizing there's a button that you can go check out all these achievements. I'm not going to say all the achievements that a scene and how she's going to be doing her achievements and how or how she's going to be trying to do hers because you know you need to go watch the video it's great it's wonderful i like the achievement hunting series if i do that i might call it that myself if froggy chronicles is okay with me trying that out but it will be after two of my other challenges i'm doing the nuts so berry and there's a surprise challenge that i came up with sort of it's a legacy challenge but i came up with the rules for it so that's coming soon 
But anyway, it'll be after one of those finish before I do this, but this is definitely my next one. I want to try the 100 Baby Challenge also, but both of these seem like they're going to be a long time. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put this one first because I'm excited about this one. I'm, I want to do the 100 Baby Challenge, but I'm more excited about doing this one. So thank you for doing this series and getting me introduced to this. Also, her sim is absolutely beautiful for this. And I actually think I'm going to try this one thing. It might shock anyone who's ever really watched uh, <laughs> any of my videos, create a sim, my LPs, my challenges, whatever. I'm going to be using a smaller amount of CC for the save. I, am, I have made a particular mod folder for that once I do the achievement hunting. And it's all going to be Maxis Max. Ma Ma Maxis Match. I love my alpha hair, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to do one. I decided I'm going to do one series with Maxis Match and limited CC. Like, I didn't want to add a whole lot into it. And this is going to be the one. I am going to go on a long series of putting Maxis Match stuff. So, this is what you've done to me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> because our sim was just so pretty. <laughs> it was I love Harlow. She's beautiful and unique. And you gotta figure out why she's unique um, by watching the episode. But yeah, this is my favorite one. I definitely enjoyed all, a lot of these videos. Like the the Crate of Sim is probably my next, but I'm a big Crate of Sim person. The this trying to do the hidden stuff is it's pretty funny. It's pretty interesting. I'm I'm going to keep watching the hidden stuff because I want to see if there's any hidden stuff that I didn't know about. I didn't know about the achievement button, so I'm looking forward to seeing what she does after the grilled cheese hidden aspiration. See if it's something I do know about or not know about. Because I feel like I know a lot of the hidden stuff, but maybe I don't. So. I also never did the grilled cheese challenge. I think I watched the Ligacy play with it once, and then that was it. <laughs> I think she did it during her Asylum challenge. I think that's where I see it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. But this this series right here, achievement hunting. I hope she doesn't stop because I'm like I'm low key addicted <laughs> because I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it goes for her, and also like how many episodes it's gonna take her especially since I'm actually gonna try this myself I'm intrigued to figure out how long it is because one of the particular aspirations I know it's gonna be a long series there is one aspiration that there is no doubt no matter what lifespan you're playing on it's gonna be a long series if you've dived and looked at the achievements then you probably know which one I'm talking about if you haven't I suggest go watch achievement hunting or, you know, you could go and look at the achievements on the game yourself. But seriously, no. Watch watch, watch Froggy Chronicles Achievement Hunting. Because this this is this is the series I'm going to be, like, trying to push the most here. <laughs> Can you tell? Um, but yeah. Because I, I, I want it to keep happening. <laughs> but yeah, she definitely deserves a lot more subscribers than this. I have so many subscribers. But a lot of them, I think, are old accounts that don't function anymore <laughs> or you know whatever so the thing is is like having bigger amount of subscribers doesn't always mean anything I think I have a lot of dead counts on mine and I think that's partially my problem because like over the years I didn't keep up with schedules too well and like I disappeared here and there but I'm actually trying to stick to a schedule and stick to making sure I get videos out as much as possible but still the fact that she only has 39 is baffling to me. Like, she definitely deserves a whole lot more. And she deserves active subscribers. Because she's she's really, really talented and fun to watch. And I, the achievement hunting is my favorite. I like, I've liked all of them. There's definitely not a series that I didn't, like, enjoy to a certain extent. Um, I haven't watched the uh, Snowy Escape one yet. Um, that will probably be one that I watch soon, but I want to I want to get caught up on the Underhill Legacy. I want to get caught up on that one before I start any other ones. So yeah, I want to get caught up on that one. And I like I said, I am really not very far. She's where I'm at. She's just starting off, and she describes the Sim and talks about where the Sim's life started up and why she wants to have a family and all this stuff. So yeah. 
I've I'm at that point. I'm at very early on in that series, but I'm already I'm definitely intrigued. I like legacy. I've started to really like legacies recently. Like I'm like sort of obsessed at this point. So definitely gonna be watching it all the way through. But I need to get cut off first. But I'm really looking forward to the next achievement hunting, aka if you're watching the Shraggy Chronicles. Please keep doing the achievement hunting. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. Um, but yeah, so anyway, definitely go check out Froggy Chronicles. All of her this stuff is down in the description below. Go click on it. Do it. Do it now. Do it after the video. Whatever. I'm about to end the video, so you're going to do it soon anyway. <laughs> but yeah, definitely go check her out. Go give her playlist a try. I... As I said right now, currently my favorite ones are the Achievement Hunting, the Creative Sim Pluto. I'm looking forward to the Zodiac Creative Sim, um, but haven't got there yet. Want to watch Pluto before I head on to that one. And definitely like keep an eye out on her like hidden stuff. So like the Grilled Cheese Aspiration. You might learn some things that you didn't know by watching those as well. So, um, And she's actually trying to keep some of it more of a secret to her so like as she's discovering things it's sort of a surprise so yeah definitely definitely looking forward to more videos from her i'm enjoying the creator of the month series so far because it has brought like showed me three amazing creators that sort of were just they like they don't have they didn't have like they had some rec more recognition than not but you know they didn't have what i think they deserved that's that's what I'm trying to say. I have a really hard time explaining myself and forming words sometimes. But yeah. Um, but it has made me, led me to some really great creators and great series. So I, I'm loving doing this series. I may be trash at getting it out in the month that they are a creator of the month in. But it doesn't matter. I like doing these and I enjoy making the video. I enjoy watching all this stuff. So I'm going to keep doing it. And who knows, maybe as a funny, I'll just keep putting it in the beginning of the next month. Just because, you know, I'm bad at timing. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Go check out Froggy Chronicles. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye-bye!